We're beginning today, Perak Yudalad. Uh, this Perak basically discusses the Nachalois of the Shvatim, which were done through a Goiro. Let's read a few Psukim from Pasuk Alev through Pasuk Hay. Ve'ela shanochalu b'nei Yisrael be'eretz k'nan, asher nichalu oisom elozor ha'koyim ve'yishu ha'binun, ve'roi she'avois ha'matais l'vnei Yisrael, be'goiral nachalosom, k'asher tzivo Hashem b'yad Moishe, l'sishas ha'matais v'chatzi ha'matais. Kinota, kinosa an Moishe nachalos shnei ha'matais v'chatzi ha'matais, מעבר ליעדן, ולהלווים לנוסע נחלו בסייכו. כי היו בני יוסף שני מטייס, מנשה ואפרוים, ולנוסנו חלק להלווים בארץ, כי אם אורים לא שבס ומגרשיהם למקניהם ולקניונם, כאשר ציוו השמש מוישה, כן עשו בני ישראל ויחלקו ראס או ארץ. תונאף שבטים which is Reuven, God, and Chotzi Shevet Menashe, got their part in Ever Hayav. They weren't part of Chalukas Eretz Yisrael. But if in the Nimtzo, that there is only with 12 Shvatim, two and a half got their Nachalo in Ever Hayav in Amizrochi, on the east bank of the Jordan River, so there is Tisho Vechetzi Shvatim which I left for Eretz Yisrael, Eretz Canaan. However, Shevet Levi, we know that Shevet Levi lo yikibu chelek ba'oretz. There were Ora Levim, there were 48 Ora Levim, we're going to learn about them. But Lemai says Shevet Levi did not get his own designated portion and chelek in Eretz Yisrael. So therefore, theoretically, it should have been only eight and a half Shvotim. Therefore, this Pesach is trying to emasbir us that Bnei Yosef were considered like two Shvatim. Since Yosef had two sons, and Ephraim and Menashe, Keruva, Vishim, and Yili, they were like two <coughs> separate Shvatim. In Mele, it's nine and a half. If you look at the Pesukim, there is four times where the Pesuk keeps on saying First Pesach says, Begoyrel nachlosom kashetziva Hashem es Moshe. Emphasizes the word kashetziva Hashem es Moshe. Weiter, kasher tziva Hashem es Moshe ken osu b'nei Yisrael vayach leku es Oretz. Where is this kashetziva Hashem es Moshe? Where do we find that kashetziva Hashem es Moshe? We find in Parshas Masei, there is a Pesach. The Pesach says, Tzav es b'nei Yisrael v'amarto aleihem, ki atem boim elo Oretz, Knoan, Zoyse Oretz, Asher Tipoil Lochem Benachalo Eretz Knaan Begvulei Seho. So the Medrash, you can like half a note, the Medrash in Pastor's Masha, the Medrash in Pastor's Masha, what does it mean, Zoyse Oretz, Asher Tipoil Lochem? What does it mean, Tipoil Lochem? The Chia Oretz Neufelis, the Oretz is Neufelis, Kilo, the earth is falling, we know this apostle can begin of Kayelis or Oretz, the earth is standing forever. Capital Design and Tehillim. We say, Chavolim noflu li bani'imi. What is the word Chavolim mean? The word Chavolim really has a dual definition. One, Meloshen Chevel Eretz, a portion of the land. All the Chelkei Oretz, which were divided amongst the Shvotim. And the second one, the word Chevel means a Goyro. That Eretz Yisrael has to be divided via a Goyro. A raffle. In the Pasuk, Vayachaloish Yehoshua es Hamolek Lefi Chorev, Haintike Parashas Pasuk. What does it say, Vayachaloish? Stating Psikte de Rav Kahana, which is a Brise, Rabbi Seinu Omru Yipil Aleim Goyrolis. Yehoshua was Mapel a Goyrol to fight Amolek. 
Harbo Shemois Nikre Ule Goiro. The four names, a Goiro is given four different names. Cholosh, weak Cholosh, poor, Goiro, and Hevel. Ubekulom Loku Bne Eso. Becholosh Loka Molek, Shenema Vayachal Yeshua. All the four different Lishainis of um, the four different Lishainis of Egoiro are used against the children of Esau. Number one, Vayachal Yeshua Esamolik. It says, What's mean Vayachal Yeshua Esamolik? It's Egoiro. Ubepur Loko Homon, Shenema Ipil Puhu Egoiro Lifneoma. Bechevel Osid Lilkois, Shenema. Chevle Yoiludo Yevoy Uloi. There's a Pasuk in Isheya. And the Cholosh, poor Goyrol and Chevel, they're all the shyness of Goyrol. So Oretz Asher Tipo Lohem Lenachlo, it doesn't mean that the Oretz was Nipoel, that physically the earth would be divided amongst the Shvotim, and that's called Tipoel. But since you mapil a goyro, drawing a raffle is called Loshekodesh Hapolas Goyroles, therefore each Shevet should be Zoiche in his Chelek through a goyro. If I'm looking at the Psukim, the truth of the matter is, if I'm looking at the Psukim Parshas Masay, fascinating. Psukim say as follows. Ach be goyro yecholek esor tishmois matas avoysem in cholo. That's Psuk number one. Weiter, Alpia Goiro to Holik Nahalosi, Bain Rav Lemeat, Kilu, even if he's amongst the, sh- the Shevet, there's a lot of Bnea Shevet or Lil Alpia Goiro. Vis Nahaltem has or it's, it's all Psukim in Parshas Pinchas and Parshas Masse. Vis Nahaltem is or it's big Goiro, Mishpechusechim, the Rav Tarbus Nahalosi. Then punchline So what what is this union of Goyro? What is this Goyro? What kind of function and role does the Goyro play in this is what we would, would like to focus on today. The Medrash Tanchuma is a Medrash Tanchuma. The Medrash Tanchuma in Parshas Pinchas, I'd like to quote, says as follows. Ach begoiro, and this posuk, ach begoiro, zeu sheomar hakosu ve posuk in Mishlei, midyonim yashbis hagoiro. Midyoni means a fight, a dinu in between, amongst partners, brothers. Midyoni miyashbis will seize. The fight will stop with a goyro. Lafi, shtet in medal. Shekosav shimen simen kol shevet veshevet miyakov. Zvulu lechoif yomi mishkoin. Isoha chamoy gorem. Meosher shmein olachmoy. Ein lechol reshus lechalek elo al pi goyro. Umaise nisimo yo be goyro. Elozar hakoyen lo yivesh urim v'tumim, v'kalfi ha-goyrolois l'fnei Yehoshua, sh'neema v'yorisi lochem goyrol l'fnei Hashem elekeinu. There's a posuk later in Perek Yudches, we're going to get there, v'yorisi lochem goyrol, I'm going to make a goyrol l'fnei Hashem elekeinu, v'ad sh'lo yal ha-goyrol, elozar oim v'beruch ha-koydesh, goyrol shevet ploini oile sh'yitl b'moy komploini. V'yeshua poishet yodah v'oyle, sh'nema eila anachlois, asher nichalu, our apostle, loza akrem v'yeshua binun. V'ze o'isa yeseiro, sh'oyo goyrol tsevayach b'sh'ar sali yosoi, ani goyrol shevet ploini, olisi le b'mokim ploini. U'minayin sh'a goyrol medaber, sh'nema alpi a goyrol. I remember I was a little child, my zayde, mamma, she's a little child, seven years old, Come to my Zayde, Zalman Sarotskin, and used to ask me, Vu gefintmen as a doime mod giret. Find that the Yechai, Chamoira, Sayyidina Shulbilom spoke. But where do we find that a doimim spoke? And the answer I was supposed to give was Rashi, 
in Parshas Pinchas that the Goyal himself was medab al pi Goyal. The Goyal was tzeveach. Rashi brings down smedish tanchume that the Goyal was tzeveach and says, "Ani Goyal shevet zvulun. I'm going to go lechayif ako lechayif yomim mishka." So. In Medrashtayt, the prior to the actual raffle taking place, there were few pre-existences to the Chalukah of the actual Chalukah they have. Number one, Yankim Abinu Nebrochus, before he died, he said, He said to each one, where his Chalik is going to be. The Goyal himself wasn't a natural Goyal raffle a lottery ticket that which one will have which chalik. You see, there is a major nasdike, a miracle involvement. A lot of war the over to me, and before the petek was oil from the goyro, we'll soon see. My said there were two bags. One of them was the shemus of the shvul. One of them was the shemus of the chalokim. He puts up and he says zvulun, and it came out the parcel of the chayf yami so even before you put your hand into the box, into the kalfi, the goy elozer hakoyen vaya urim v'tumim, he said, chelak shevet ploini yika chevel ploini. Afterwards, Yeshua puts his hand into the goyro, and he puts out one petek, one sign of the name of the shevet, and one of the nachlo, two different boxes, two different kalfis, and it happens to be it was always fitting the 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 whatever was said prior to that by Lazar Koyan by Urim Vitumim, so it was so gestimmt with the nevua of whatever came out Lamaisa before you. And not only that, when the petek comes out, the petek tseveyach be'atzm. It's all alpines. We don't understand these things. I need goyel shemet plenty. At least be more complaining. So it comes out. That even though the halas hagoyrel of the both psokim came out a natural halokim shovim, even without making any goyrel, so fregan al rishenim the ramban the radak over here. If that's the case, so what do you need the ganze ma'is of goyrel? If if it was nizbar al deiro hakodesh and you have ur v'tumim. And the Urim V'tumim, you have Urim V'tumim Gishtim, whatever Yankim Avinu said, Bishas Ptirosi. So, so what do we need a Goyal? That's number one. Number two, a Goyal is always, there's Oyerim on the Goyal. You come to a raffle, there's always Oyerim on the Goyal. They could say that it happened by Mikre, it's not really Hachro Mezukekes, and it's, it's ambiguous. To a certain extent, a girl is always, people can come with tightness. I just know I might say that Bishas the Beisalevi was a roving brisk, so the, the upkeep of the Gabe was a Gabe. You have to pay him 50 kopikis. How did he get the money to pay? They didn't have a budget. So every Erev Rosh Chodesh, Leil Rosh Chodesh, Erev Rosh Chodesh, they sold 100 tickets for one kopike each. They bought a Zilber Rebecha for 50 kopikis. And the uh, 50 kopikas that was left over, that was the, the, the salary for the Gabe, for the Shamash of the Shul. How did they do? They used to give 100 people, each one used to give one kopike, and they each one got a number. And there was a kid right after Meir, the kid pulled his hand into the box, it pulled out a number, it says 22, 22 won the girl, it got the Zilbul Abech and Gang Bike. One Rishchidish, one Leil Rishchidish, after the kids. You know, played around. They took the box, they opened up, and they saw the number 61 they put in by mistake twice. There's two tzatlach of 61. Whoever made the tzatlach, they weren't missing any tzatlach. Settle number 61 came in twice. So they went to Beisalev, Beisalev had gesagt, that Vans ain't in Zechzik will give one in the lottery if he would be the one who would win the lottery. So you say it's not a fair because he got a double chance. But being that number 22 got the lottery and everybody had a chance, so we may, it doesn't make enough kemina and the girl is talking. Chaimke was at the time four years of age. That's the way I heard it from my Rebbe. I heard it from other people, you're three, but when you talk even fear you're out. It's not true. Why? Because what would have been 
if number 66, 61 that had a double chance won, you'd say the girl is bottle. Why? Because he had a double chance. Okay, question number one. Question number two, what would have been if you would have put all the tzetlach besides the tzetlach of 61? It's bottle because not everybody had a fair chance. So in as much as 61, if he would have won, you would say the girl was bottle because he had a double chance. Comes out, you never really inserted the settle of 61. He never had a chance to win. In as much, he never had a chance to win. The girl was bottle. Besalevi gave him a lot of him. He says, Chaim is gerecht. So a girl, Shayna Maisel, a girl is something which is always given to different commentators to say their own shot. What, who, when? We have a Mocha Kredish, which is sealed, silent, confirmed, it's like Nevoa, tells us, Uwe Tobim tells you, Paskin, Uwe, and Tumina Foshes. Paskin, everything by the Milchomis. Yehuda Yale, we Paskin, all the halachis based on Uwe Tumim. Kumts again, though, to Chalukas or as the Torah is Makbid four times, sign the Torah, say here in the Yeshua, that the Goyrel is going to be Machriya, the Goyrel to Chalukas or. That's number one. Number two, Bechalad of Mefashte. Gemara state, this is a Gemara in Shabbos, in the Fkuf Chavo, the Gemara says that the guy who is Choyze Bekoychovim told the daughter of Abba Kiva that Beyoyim Shetikonos Lechupo Yakishen Anochosh. She'll be stank by a, be bitten by a snake in the day of her chupa. And she will die. That's what he told her. It was a guy, an astrologist, he came and told her, I see in the Chavim that in the Yoyim Shetikonos Lechupo, that's the day you're going to die from Akoshos Nochosh. Nassel and Ness, she had a Ness and she was Nitzel, and nothing happened, although the snake came, nothing happened. In fact, it's a Kashe, who be Sifri Dorash, Minayin Shen Sherlin Begoyrolis, Shenemar Tomim Tie, as a state in Tesis, the Goyro, the Hoyze Bekhovim, Chodom Ilso. And so, look at Shukhonok, if you pass, look at Shukhonok in your day, Kufentes, all semen, and Sherlin Begoyrolis, Bechoizim. Why? Because it says Tomim Tie, Mashem Lekechos, Shesh de Ramo. And says that Amor the Kolshkin should also lisho be mechashvim, be koismim, be mechashvim, be nachashim. So all this nachash is something which al pi aloche is also. And Teisa says that goyrol is lemaise, being so mechal goyrol is the very same idea as being mechashe for meoinen and nochash. So what's the whole story with the nochash? And if you find. We learned the story with Ochon. Ochon was Moal Becherem. We saw it previously in the beginning of Sefer Yeshua. And then there was a show of Yerichu. Yeshua didn't know that he was, who was the Chot of Becherem. So he came to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells him the reason why they lost the first Mechem Esai was because somebody was Moil in the Cherem. I told you nobody should touch the Cherem Yerichu. He's going to be, uh, supposed to be Seirif Ba'esh. And somebody was Moil in the Cherem. So he says, the Kaddish Baruch Hu told him, Hapel Goyol, you should be Goyol, who is the one? And the Goyol was Oyla Ochon. Ochon, Shtei the Gemore, there's a Gemore in Sanem, Dachmem Gimel, Ochon says to, to Yeshua, Be'obe, Goyol, Atabo Olai, you, you, you falozach, the girl to kill me, to tell me, let's make a Goyol, and let's see, I'm going to put you, and Elozor HaKoyen, and I'm going to say which one, and I'm going to put out one. One of the two of you will come out. So, Vosit, so, the, so Yeshua tells him, we learned before in Perek Zion, Yeshua tells him, B'ni Sim No, I'm asking you, Kovei La Hashem Elokei Yisro V'ten Lo Yisaido, V'haged No Li Mo Asisa Al Terchached Min. I'm asking you, do not, what does it mean, no? Stating Mori and Saned and Dachem Gimel, Omar, Tono Rabbona, No, Eino, no, Lo Shebakosha, B'Shor Shomar HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Yeshua, Bilud, who is the one who gave a chet? I'm going to tell you, I'm reading you Gemara in Sanet in Dafmem Gimel. Olach ve'ipul goyrolos ve'nofal agoyr al ochon. This is the Gemara. This is the Gemara. This is the Gemara. This is the Gemara. 
אמר רבינה שחודוי שחדה במילה, כל מבקש ממכו אלוהי דו, אולה מסקין, תן לו יסוי דו במוידה ויפוטר. מיד ויען אוכל נשיא שוב ויאמר עמונה אנוכי חוסתתי, השם אלוקי ישראל כזה וכזה עשיסי. ישוע אז אסקי, הקדוש ברוך הוא אז דה וואן וגזינדיק, הוא אז דה מויל אין וחרב, הקדוש ברוך הוא תורדו עם מכבינישקי בעלו של נהור. Go and make a goy, so I don't understand. Because Boko doesn't want to tell him because it's going to make a Loshinor. So what does it help you with the goy? Goy is also a Piyashem. It's not stomach goy. Goy is a Piyashem. Why? So the Marcho is an apostle in Mishle. As a goy, every goy, when you make a goy, you can 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 make a goy, Because I see the Eretz Yisrael, the Yisrael of the Goyro, so everything is Meis Hashem. He told him the Goyro is Meis Hashem. So why do Kodesh Boch Oret Lashenor? What's the difference between Oret Lashenor and the Moel? So Oret Lashenor and the Goyro, he's making a Nes. Ma'ashamayim Moedim, who is the one who is Moel in the Chayim? And the Teretz is, and this is a combination of the Goyro and the Mishle, and the Radak over here. But Amos, the natural process of a Goyro is not Machriya. Ochan is given gerecht. Begoyol ato bo olay. Let's take every two people, say which one of the two, and one will come out. The teva of the goyol is always going to be that one of the participants in that grolo is going to come out. But it can't happen, it can't tell you if this, if the person that came out in the goyol is the one who really did it. When you have two people that were in participants, so one of them will come out. But what happens if If Yeshua and Eloza Akoyen are not participants, so you cannot really be a Paskin. Naturally, you can only use a Goyol as a Pshora to Merivo. Okay? There's no Biro for Agrola. In other words, the mazel of the person is going that the Goyol should be Oile Bechelkoy. When the people who participate in the Goyol believes of the Goyen, that the Kodesh Bochu, and I'm reading his Loshan, Yesayve the Sadovo Kasher Kenhi, right? Viyidnu Koyach le Goyro la Achriya, she Yoidu, be Masha Ola al Pia Goro, Kachenu al Pia Emes, Yucha la Goyro le Vare Ramisa Sadova. Comes out that the Goyro in itself cannot be Mevare who is Choyte, only the Hoido of Ochon. He made a Dos Baldin, we spoke about it, Kaka, but Dos Baldin, but if I was just, but any event, What Machriya was the Dean was a Dos Baldin. So the Kodesh Bochot tells him, since the girl is not Machriya, it's not a definitive psak that this is really what happened. Only somebody who's minor the girl. And even after the girl, Ochon could have been denying the girl. Now, Ochon, Shtetigmori, Osa Tshuva, Vehoido the girl. Therefore, the girl was only the vehicle via which Ochon was moide in the Maise with neither his mom in the girl. So it comes out in the girl there is no definitive saying that really in essence that Ochon is the Chait. It comes out the Sivva Mesoyiva Kadesh Bochu made it but the, the reason why it's not the Lotter is because when he speaks of Shonori he tells him Ochon did it. Here the girl is just was a vehicle that Ochon should be made himself and be maimin in the girl. That's what Yeshua is asking him. Be'eretz Yisroel, nech l'ko be'goyol. The reason why, Kaddish Baruch Hu is mitzavi Yeshua to mechal the be'goyol, if there would have been mechal the Keretz Yisroel via Ur and Vitumim alone, a piyoch ha'koydish, so it wasn't really, Klal Yisroel would have said there, and say, that's not really the chelak. Oh, what can I do? I mean, p'sak v'shamayim, k'chol asher yerucho, I have to do elof tishmon, a novi gizok, that's, It doesn't necessarily mean that this is the chilek that I should have gotten. And they would have tlunes. If, in a second, you make a goyol, which is a malbush, and the achro of the goyol is only in as much as you believe in the goyol, so in Mele, that's going to be with the goyol, so when they're moide in the goyol, and they mask him, I'm going to show you, the Rabbi Niyayne, the beautiful Lush Rabbi Niyayne in Mishle. Hishtaresh etzlom ha'akoro shema shekibulu ba'oretz utoi v'mushlom avurom. Kodesh Baruch wanted that the Chalokim in Eretz Yisrael, Klal Yisrael, would get l'gvul Yiseo, not as merely a simple gzeir shomayim. That they will understand that via the goyro, 
everyone will really get whatever is his natural and the goyrol that this is the chelik via all the participants. And therefore, it's not really nichush. It's not really the isur to be mistamech and the goyrol is only when you say, you know, we don't know nothing. It's a lottery ticket and we pass it according to the goyrol. And that's the akora ativis of the goyrol. That goyrol, zoktesis, in sanerdim, you pass in shulchanoch, it's also api aloch. That's the chashif of the oinim. And you're not allowed to pass it according. But the, the goyrol that they made in order to mechalek eretz Yisrael was not really the psak naturally because the petek was oile be goyrol. The whole raya, we knew beforehand. We knew from Birkas Yankev, we knew from the Urim Jutumim, we knew the petek was Tzeveach. The tafkid of the goyrol, in essence, was to be goyrol, to be Yisrael, to be mashrish, that whatever was all of the goyrol is the chelek toiv avurom. And they should recognize that is the Ratzon Hashem. I want to read the Rabbeinu Yoyne and this Pesach, Midyonim Yashbis HaGoyrol Ubein Atsumim Yafrid. And this is the Loshon, the beautiful, splendid language of the Rabbeinu Yoyne in Perek the Zion, Pesach Lamed Gimel in Mishlei. Ve'ato Meshabeya Chalukos HaGoyrol Shi Meshacheches Tluno She quiets down. Tluno means a complaint. And therefore <coughs> he wants to say, I'm going to, I'm getting this land. This is mine. I need this piece of land. That's what Shleim Amalek Bechuch Mosoi is Meshabeach in a goyro ule hoiro is a derech ho emuno to show a derech ha emuno ki a nigzoli nosen lo odom. Whatever is bashert for you, who shiyale bechelkoi. The shvach of the girl again is in order for each one to come to the recognition that this is the chelak atov aroi me'es Hashem. The mele comes out that the, the whole process of the girl was in order was mishtaresh the akora that whatever they got which was alpiru hakodesh and alpi whatever Yankov Avinu said already bishas misosay is. The right Bashar Techelik that should have been designated and given to each one, Alpi Mazole, Alpi Chelke. The Gemara in Ulubasra, in Dafkuf Kof Beis, has a Shaila. I'd like to go a little bit more to practicality. The Gemara says, Iboilu, Shaila, Eras Yisrael, the Shvotim Iflu, we split it according to the Shvotim, and then each Shevet is Mechalek to the Nachal according to the people in the Shevet. Or the Mechalik according per capita, as many people there were, that's how much each one got a parcel of a quarter of an acre, half an acre, two acres, so on and so forth. So the more Toshma, I'll bring you right. That all the Shvotim got similar amount. Bein Rav doesn't make a difference if you're large or a small Shevet, right? So it comes out the chalokim of the people in the smaller shevet, they got a bigger parcel of land than in the bigger shevet. There's more people in the shevet, he got a smaller nachla. If each ve'oid, another tanya, hasid der etz Yisrael shetischalek, shtet abreise, l'shloish o'asol shvotim. In osid lo v'der etz Yisrael is mischalek to 13 shvotim. Shibitchilo, when the first came, is man Yeshua le Nishal ko le Shnei Masor Shvati, le Nishal ko lo bekesef. Shenema ben Rav le Meat. My bekesef. What does it mean? Omar Rav Yude Karka Seo be Yehuda Shov vechomish same begol. We know real estate location, location, location. So a one Seo be Yehuda is worth five Seim begol. So if a guy is the chela came out be Yehuda, so he says, listen, the Yehuda is worth five hundred dollars an acre, and the Golu is worth a hundred dollars an acre. You get five hundred dollars worth, 
So the land totally is worth 600. You have to get 300. He has to get 300. You have to pay him back the part to prorate it accordingly in order for each one to get the value of the land and the hefresh he has to pay the other guy who got the cheaper land with kesef. So the Gemara will inschal ko elo begoyro shenema ach begoyro. That's the pasuk we read. Will inschal ko elo buur v'tumim shenema was al pi ruach hakodesh. How keitzad? What does it mean? Elo, elo zol malu b'shul v'tumim v'yishua v'kol Yisrael amdu lefanov v'kalfi a box in yud beis pesukim is shel shvotim v'kalfi yud beis tchumim. There is a yud beis they put in twelve regions of land and twelve names of the shvotim. He mixed up the kalfi, mixed up the papers, the psokim which were inside, and the other beyond is zvulun. Torah bekalfi shel tchumim. Again, he mixed up all the parcels of land. The other beyond tchumaka. The choizer who mechave beruach hakodesh when naftoli oile. The more brings on two examples. This is what happens. It comes out that the nachla of each shevet was done according to the goyro. Now, the question is, when it came to the shevet, how do you subdivide it within the shevet itself? If the chalukah of yochid with yochid in the shevet, you also made a goyro for the chalukah of yechid in betoich shevet. The more it comes out that each Shevet got the same amount of land, acreage, and they were mashling each other by Kesef, but in land wife they were received each one. And then they used to mechalik the Nachalo accordingly to the to the people in the Shvati. But if Nimtze, somebody in Shevet Don could have gotten more or less than somebody in Shevet Binyam and so on and so forth. The Gemara comes along. So we don't really know how do we make the Chalukah within the Shevet. You got, right now, you got 2,000 acres and you have to mechalik it to 2,000 people. Do we do a goyro or you have your own subdivision committee in the city hall of Bnei Don and Bnei Naftali and they divide it accordingly? The Mishnah, you know, there's a Mishnah in Kiddushin. Anybody that learned Kiddushin, Mishnah in Davkovov, in Kiddushin, state, Nechosim Sheshna Machais, Nikni Bekesem Shtar Bechazoka. How do you know Karka is Niknis Bechazoka? Omar Chizki, Omar Krov, Shvu Be'arechem Asher Tfastem. Be'ma Tfastem Be'yishive. Devei Rabbi Shmuel Kana. The Gemara in Kedush, the Braise. So the Gemara, V'yirishtem, Oysa, V'yishavtem Bo. Be'ma Yerashtem, Be'yishive. So for the fact that the Yisrael need to do a Maisekin in their Yisrael, in the land, in order to hold on to the land, Zeraya, the Karka is Niknes, Be'chazok. Once again, Gleich, the Rital Gazi. And the Rital Gazi, Frek Takashe, he doesn't understand. Gemara shteit na ve'i dezore, and as a Gemara we held it once on the table. Gemara says, Omar Avyudo Marav, Yisrael she zokaf leveinu li yishtachav lislo. Yisrael put up in a, a, a leveinu, a brick, ubo akum yishtach lulo asor, min nolon. But Gemara Omar Avyudo Marav, kitchilo shel eretz Yisrael. Omar Achmono v'asherein tisrofun bo'eish, mich de yirushi lo nomar v'yiseinu ve'inu lo mo'yisad v'asherein ashaloi. So how does a Zogtrashi Mikhdei Oretz a Kolam Mechuba LeYerusha LeYisrael Mavi Seim Shere Omer Lavrom Kilachoy Snei LeVegoyim Shebo Achikim LeYoichlim LeOisro BeYistachavo Shtei Toch Klor in the Gemara that Eretz Yisrael was Koni BeKinyan Mamoin even the time of the Oves Afazei Vait if somebody will come in four hundred years later BeMistachave he won't be able to answer that Levene that the Levene the boy is talking about the. The Asheris in Eretz Yisrael, because he's ain't also the Rishol Rishloi, because the Asheris mechuv lekarka mechuv lekarka is like a karka, and since Kadosh Baruch Hu said to Avram Avinu, "Kilucho etein, kilucho nasati," so we made it theirs. So we come together. This like the Ritar Gazi Akasha. We can take more in Kedushin comes and say that you need that Chazaka is a raya for the fact that they made a Chazaka. We reached the Moshe, we shaft him, boy, you darsh, we shaft him, boy, bema. The yeshiva, so you need the yeshiva in order to clinch off the the chaluko. Not state clear. The more answers because of bipoch yisro the eagle nichal egal that the nichal. So we may le. There was a bezunder teretz why yisro shazokaf levein after the eagle works and doesn't become an el shol shaloi. That's not part of a bakupolim. The talgazi state the gemara state as eretz yisro muchzakis elon lemavizenu who blibes 
Unser Elohim Bekinyan Momen Afazayim Vayit. If somebody else wants to ask her, it will be a loch of an else of Dorosh and the Shalai. Vayit, I mean, the Mishnah in Mishnahichlin state that Bnei Slavcha in Kufta Zayin, Boba Basa, the more state, the Mishnah state, Bnei Slavcha took three parts in Eretz Yisrael. Why? Because Aviyim, the Chelek Ochiv, and the Chelek Ashlishi was because the father was a Bechor and he got Pishnaim. Why did he get Pishnaim? Why did he get Pishnaim? Something which was in his possession at the time, but futures and all kind of dividends is going to get. That's not, even though it's Roy, it's called Roy, but you have to have a Muchzak in order to be Mekabel. Why got two Halokim? Where two halokim because the father was a pchoyer, the father of Tzlovcho died before Kibush Eretz Yisrael. So it comes out that he wasn't muzak because only boy or nischalko or Father died in the midbar. So he made that Tzlovcho wouldn't have gotten two kiflaim. So why did they get two halokim? Mitzah that the father was a pchoyer pchoyer tzvoy. It's not a muzak. Efet gemor Eretz Yisrael muzak is ilonu ma'aveseinu. In other words, Yitzh Mitzrayim received part in Eretz Yisrael, Machmas the Yerusha, they got in the king and others, was Avram Avinu was promised Eretz Yisrael. He may live, Bleib Zoroi, doesn't Bleib Memurzik. So, Frek the Rital Gazi, Ebazei, why do you need Voshtet Nigmor and Raif King and Chazaka from Eretz Yisrael? Zokta. You can't say that the reason why you need Kiyin Chazaka because each one could be Koyne, his own Chelek, he says, because the Goyol, this is a Shtikot he says, because the Goyol, the Orin Vetumim, was Mechalek, the Chelek Ayechidim as well. Not only the Goyol was Mechalek, the Chelek Ashvotim, but was Mechalek Fun Chelek Ayechidim. What's the right? The Gemara comes and says, Ochim Shechol Kukim Shaol HaGoyol Lechod Mem Zochu Kulo. Brothers are coming to split the Yerusha of the father, and they decide they're going to do the chilek and the goyol. And the second, the first one was zeichin is chilek, the others were zeichin the rest of it, and they could divide it, even though they weren't kolechot ve'echot zeichin bechelkoi. Why? Because the goyol is not makne anything to them. The goyol is only mevar which side each one is in the kaka. So the gemara my time up itchil aseretz yisrael, my itchil aseretz yisrael be goyol afkam be goyol. Says Rashi. That the same thing that Rashbam, same thing that Chilas Eretz was Nischalak L'Shvotim Begoyel, and each one took Chelko Al Piv. Ochim Shecholku could also be Koyne Begoyel. For the Moray Akashe, Yochi Male Halon Bekalfi Vurim Vetum Avkam Bekalfi Vurim Vetumim. You should have if you need it. So why don't you need the Vurim Vetumim? Also, Omer Ravashi Beayi Ano De Katzaisel Leado De Gamu Umachnuli. In the Chaluk of Achim, you don't need a Goyrol, you don't need Urim Vetumim, because they know that each one is Shemea to the other one, to be Choylek, if it does, to be Makne. al Koponim state in the Gemore that the Chaluk of Soretz, one they had the Goyrol, each one was Makne, the Choylek, Alpi, whatever they want to be Makne to the other, so why do you need a King in Chazok? As they frecked the, the Marit. The Marit says he's a rival. The Ravid in Bobasra and Shitum Kubetzis in Ravid in Bobasra, the Ravid says that the MS is in a in a Chiluka Goyro Shenasa Levar Cholok Ashvoti Maha Goyro Shenasa Levar Chelika Yechidim Maha Goyro Shenasa Levar Ashvoti. He says that the MS is a basic fundamental difference between the Goyro from the Chelika Ashvoti and the Goyro for the Yechidim. The Goyro was Chelika Ashvoti, so the Ravid was Nasa with Urm Vetumim. Since it was Nasa with Urm Vetumim, Yemele was considered that a Kenyan Gomu, and that's why each Shevet got his Chelek through a Kenyan Gomu. But the Chelek between amongst them, even though it was done by Goyrol, but was not done with Urim Vetumim, so it was only not called considered Kenyan Gomu. How did the Kenyan finish up? The Kenyan finished up through a Kenyan Chazoka, that's the more brand the Kenyan Chazoka. Hoi le Mikola now, whether Goyrol, the Goyrol is really not a place the Goyrol is just to Bring out that whatever was Barah al Piruch HaKodesh, that's what Tzugi passed al Pichelkoi. And we have a Shaila, and we know that each Shevet, the Maestro Maskona Sagmor, got a same kind of Goyro, the same kind of Chelek as the other Shevet, irrespective of Laravel and Me'at. 
And then we have a shayla, what happens in the halakim within Kol Shevet Veshevet, do we need or don't we need? Pashas and the Gemara says that you need a kin chazoke to be koine kol chelek vechelek.